We talk so much about AI, and as you are based in Silicon Valley, I want to get your thoughts on the U.S. versus China when it comes to the differences there, and if you can call it a race, who is winning? So right now, I think the perception out there is that the U.S. is winning. So when we did our surveys and looked at it, it was the U.S. is number one, but China is number two and coming on quite quickly. Mm. You know, it's really interesting because China has made it a focal point of the government to focus on artificial intelligence as a key technology for them to watch the entire Chinese ecosystem develop its, its artificial intelligence expertise has been quite impressive. Yes, yeah, so when you talk about the extraordinary amount of money that the Chinese government is willing to push into research, we're reminded of the fact that they simply don't want to be considered copycats of the world anymore. They really want to boost the R&D budgets in China. They already have to an extent. So how can the U.S. continue to compete and the other countries that are out there trying to step up their game? Well, you know, a, a lot of artificial intelligence comes down to data and access to data. And one thing that we hope ecosystems do, governments, academia, uh, matched with private corporations, is find ways to share data and information, obviously paying attention to privacy, but share data and information in these larger pools. And that would allow us to have a bigger pool of data to build new AI engines off of. And so we've seen that happening quite a bit in Asia, in China specifically, and it'd be great to see that in the U.S. and other governments and, and regions of the world as well. Jeff, do you have a view to the various innovations, I think, of automation specifically and robotics that you view when it comes to the impact on jobs globally? Are we talking about ultimately lots of jobs going due to this tech, or in another sense, could it be just creating jobs in new areas? Well, you know what's really interesting is Robotic process automation, or as I like to say, the software robots, is a big and growing area, uh, particularly for us within the professional services industry. You know, we last year automated 2.1 million hours of our repetitive tasks into these software robots. And I think that the misperception out there is that it takes away jobs. We're not automating jobs, we're automating tasks. And really, from that, our people love it. And we like to say the best people love bots, and our best people definitely do.